I'm holding in my hands a new acquisition I just made. It is the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Dive Watch. A little history or background on how I ended up acquiring this, this new timepiece. I was actually looking to buy a new watch in early 2015 and it was starting to kind of like isolate which watch was going to be at the top of my list as far as new acquisitions. I was starting to think about getting a, a black dive watch that started to appeal to me and obviously the default is a Rolex Submariner and I was actually considering a no date and then that led me to the Sky Dweller or sorry the Sea Dweller 4000 the new ceramic version that was announced at Basel World 2014 and after thinking about it for a while I realized that I didn't really want to get a Rolex as much as I love my GMT Master 2 a Submariner or a Sea Dweller variant would look too much like my GMT Master 2 and doesn't really have that same same appeal as having a, a new watch in my collection and so I already seen the, the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bath to Scaff online uh, last year and I never got a chance to try one on and so I finally went to the boutique, a Turbion boutique, tried one on and became very enamored with it. And I actually wanted the NATO strap version, they have a different ref they have another reference model with, uh, with either a black or an OD green NATO strap. Um, but recently um, I saw a post online on the Rolex forums by a person He's a trusted online seller of authentic watches named David SW. If you Google for him, David SW, you'll find him. But he had this reference model, which is the 5000-1110 Bravo 52 Alpha. It's a reference model. It's the uh, the 50 Fathoms Bath Scaff on a cotton padded sailcloth strap, as you can see here. It's not an Ano strap. It's a two-piece strap standard on the spring bars. But uh, he had a great price on it, and I... I couldn't pass it up and that's how I ended up acquiring it uh, before 2015. And uh, incidentally, yesterday, September 9th, was the Apple Watch announcement and I ordered it from David SW, sent him the money yesterday and he actually had this sent out next day air that very day and I received it on the 10th today and I actually wore it today, took it out and it wears quite well. And I'm actually very happy with the strap and um, on a side note, I will most likely order the NATO strap eventually from Blanc Pond, and they're going to be quite expensive, and I want to get both of them, the OD and black NATO strap versions. But uh, we'll see where that goes. I'm going to just we'll go ahead and wear this watch as is right now, and uh, let's get into the technical details of the watch. <clears throat> it's a 43 millimeter stainless steel watch. It has a 13.4 millimeters thick. It has an open case back, as you can see here which displays the quite quite nice 1315, the caliber 1315 Blanc Pond in-house movement. Um, some people have stated that the movement might be a little bit too, too plain looking, but frankly, I think it looks quite well, but I guess I'm not, I'm not a hardcore watch collector, so I'm not familiar with more high-end like Pateks and Alanga and San movements, but this looks quite well in my opinion. It has a silicon balance spring, which is common with Omega, but since Blanc Pond is part of the Swatch Group, uh, you expect that such technologies would be shared with Blanc Pond. Uh, the sailcloth is stra the sailcloth strap itself um, has great stitching, good lining, so it's very comfortable in the skin. Um, fits fairly well, and it helps. Um, the fact that it's not a NATO strap and you don't have the strap running along the back, it actually sits closer to the wrist. Therefore. The 43 millimeter case doesn't feel as big as you would think it is. Um, the Caliber 1315 actually has a 120 hour power reserve, which is quite long compared to most other dive watches out there. This is about five days. Um, the only other dive watches I can think of with such a long power reserve would be Panerai. Uh, but the 120 hour power reserve is quite nice. As far as the, uh, the front of the watch, the bezel is your standard unidirectional bezel. It's a ceramic bezel, um, ceramic black, and it has liquid metal for the markers or the markings on the bezel, uh, which is also a a no well known Omega technology or one they use by used by Omega for their Planet Oceans. It has your standard screw down crown, but no crown guards. But it has a nice nice big crown, good feel, so you can uh, hand wind it if you need to. The uh, the dial itself is what they would call a gray meteor dial. It's not black. Um, in some of the photos and videos, you might think it's a black dial, but it's actually gray, or if anything, a satin black. And if you can see in the light, I'm trying to just give it a little 
turn on the dial and you can see it has like some kind of circular radiance from the center of the dial. That's why they, they some have nicknamed it a meteor or gray meteor dial. It has a nice sheen to it. Take it out in the light, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It has a great look to it. The hour markers on the dial are actually white gold, and which is quite nice. And the uh, hour markers themselves have super luminova. So it's very bright in the dark um, when you need that, um, that luminescence on the dial to read the time. Um, but all in all, I'm very quite happy with this watch so far. Um, I still want to get the NATO straps. They're quite expensive from what I understand from Blanc Pond. And since I want both the OD green and the black NATO straps, it's going to set me back a little bit, but I'm going to wear this watch as is, see where that takes me, and uh, I'll go from there. But if you haven't seen the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Bathyscaf watch yet, definitely take a look at it. It's a great timepiece if you're looking for a watch that is quite unique. Um, as far as not many people wear Blanc Pond, as nowhere near as many that was wear, that wear Rolex. Um, as from what I understand, Blanc Pond actually only makes around 5,000 watches a year, which is quite small. Well, my numbers could be wrong, but that's what I read online for at least 2013. But definitely take this, uh, take a chance to get a. If you can go to a boutique that carries Blanc Pond, take a look at this watch. I think you might like it, and you might actually buy it for yourself. I'm going to have a more um, detailed write-up on this watch, along with photos, on my blog at okfj.net, and when I get a chance, I'll go ahead and post the link in the description of this video when it is ready to go.